Hey ya! We're Cozzy and Micho, and this is our catamaran Ocean Lady. We were so lucky to purchase Ocean Lady for only 40k. We feel like we're dreaming. Thanks for coming aboard and joining us on our journey. If we can do it, so can you. Dreams can come true. Thanks for watching. We're leaving the not so sunny Kimberley's today. It's really overcast. It's already rained this morning. Uh, we're not quite sure where we're going, but we're just going to sail until we find a safe anchorage. Definitely do an overnighter. Uh, we're about 500, 497 nautical miles from Darwin. So we've got a bit of distance to travel and we've just got to keep on the move. It's a shame because the Kimberleys are someplace we'd really love to spend a lot more time, but we're hoping to come back here next year. So it's pretty spectacular and we've really enjoyed our time here, but we have to get going. Just passing the southern tip of uh, Coolan Island, the big mining island. And you come out here and you can see there's a big tide, run, a tide running around and into the channel we've just come out of. Uh, we're about to turn and have the breeze behind us and uh, we're heading out into the big unknown for about 125 more miles. So, um, it's so beautiful here, my goodness. We've just done our first overnighter leaving the Kimberleys and it's been a bit of a challenge. Sort of one extreme to the other. We either have way too much wind or absolutely not. Uh, another thing we have to work with whilst we're sailing at the moment is the currents. So they play a big part actually in how fast we go, in what direction we can go in. They really do give us one or two knots of extra speed, so it's crazy. Uh, we've got our spinnaker out today and we've just got the right wind angle where halfway so it's 140 nautical miles that we're sailing this time and we're going from Kimberley sadly leaving and just going to another little um, island sort of up ahead I think at this stage we've got the Marat Islands planned um, in the route but we might sort of deviate Where should we go first? Anywhere? Go straight in for a swim, you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, how many hours sail has it taken to get here, babe? Uh, first of all, where are we? Biggie Island, Island. Wherry Bay, apparently this is like some of the best Aboriginal rock art in the world. So I believe so. we shall find out in a couple of hours when we go over there. Awesome. We're going to anchor in front of this big rock over here in front of the Yeah. Mitchell's just trying to um, pull on the anchor. Neither of our motors are going in reverse at the moment. Both have different issues. So this is just to make sure we don't move is the point. Looks pretty good to me. Woo! Woohoo! Biggie Island. Wow. We're at Biggie Island in the Kimberleys and we've heard there's some amazing Aboriginal art here so we're going to go take a little bit of an explore and it is freaking warm like uh, crocs around here no swimming and the tides are nine meters so Micho's got to do some magic with the tender so we'll be where we need it when we come back yes come with us No little beady eyes looking at us.
That is very cool. Wow, look at that. The amazing Wajina artwork found in the caves at Worry Bay is also cheekily called Bradshaw art, after Joseph Bradshaw who discovered the artwork in 1891. And, like the Aboriginal rock art that we saw at the Dampier Archipelagos, it gave us a sense of honour to have the opportunity to witness the wonder of history carved or painted onto rocks. But, unlike that rock art, little is known about the artists and artwork here at Biggie Island. The consensus is they're between 17 and 22,000 years old, but potentially could be well over 50,000 years old. One thing that dates this amazing rock art is the images painted, such as sailing ships and figures smoking pipes, which lead the experts to think they depict Dutch, English or Portuguese sailors of 1600s. Sadly, we'll never really know. According to Aboriginal folklore, these images were painted by birds who pecked the rocks until their beaks bled, and then painted the images with their tail feathers. But it's more than likely painted using primitive paints made with coloured rocks, earth and minerals, ground into powders, and mixed with egg or animal byproducts to bind the powders into paint. On a side note, my dad Don Byrne must have learnt from the Aboriginals as he paints using iron ore from the Mount Newman mines ground to powder and mixed with medium creating beautiful Australiana bush themes. I'll put a link to dad's iron ore art information in the description below. Pretty much dates it doesn't it? Oh I guess, yeah. yeah. I don't, know, I don't think that's about up the end, but it looks like a very big insect. It's much cooler than these caves here. Sure is, I was I thinking that earlier. I wonder that's what they used to do, just sit in here and yeah. just fish out here or something. We've seen some awesome rock art. Oh my God, I'm not going to shoot it. <laughs> Let me see. We should hit it and get the hell out of here because it's... <laughs> Your I don't place want to, is well, red. Yeah, I don't know, I'm... I'm a bit heat distress at the moment, okay. that's for sure. So. Okay, let's go. She's a lady. Well, glad to see another sunrise here. We've had another epic, strange night where we uh, anchored in a very unusual spot and. Uh, it kind of almost went dry on us unexpectedly onto a couple of big rocks but, but we didn't hit them we cleared them okay and the tide came back up again and we left in the middle of the night just to get the hell out of there but no harm no foul but it was just a bit of a, a wait and see game out there it was kind of strange we're uh, heading to towards the institute islands which are the ones in the distance and uh, and a little look past those. Be out there at the end of the day. Wow, it 
is dead out here today and if we weren't trying to sail it'd be spectacularly beautiful Uh, last port was Broome, our uh, next port is Darwin, and our port of registry is Fremantle. Oh, well. uh, thank you very much. Uh, I have Broome and Darwin, uh, sorry, last port, Broome, next port, Darwin, and the PLR is Freo. Thank you very much, so you have a uh, safe trip. I have nothing further for you today. This is Australia Border Force, so Border Force 76, back channel 16 out. Roger, back to 16 out, thank you. Another beautiful sunset. Good morning. We're just leaving Parry Harbour. Uh, Parry Harbour is enormous. It's quite deep most of the way through it. There's not a soul there. It's like the size of Sydney Harbour, but there's no one there except us. Um, anyway, we've just left this morning. We're trying to make about a five hour passage to get to the next island, the Eclipse Islands, before it gets to uh, the current runs against us. So we're just coming out of the, the harbour now and we're just crossing into two different currents it's like a, a washing machine just up here where the two currents meet so it'll be interesting to see what happens um, it's going to be a bit of a cross current I think at first and then the current should swing around behind us for a while and push us along but hopefully that will make a big difference to our speed because uh, if you get on the wrong side of one of these currents you're going to be going along at like two knots with your motor running and everything we don't want that Yeah, finally we have a decent sail going on. It has been like forever since we got to have a good sail. This is amazing. So we've struggled a bit this morning for many hours, and now we've got we've, we're actually still going into the current, but uh, we're doing about five knots. Woohoo! Been five knots for ages. Yeah, it's a um, great sail. We'd be doing about nearly six if it wasn't for the current. Yeah. But the current will the current will start to favour us in the next hour. And should push us along even more, and then we should get a touch more wind. But we've got the uh, yeah, big shack. We've got big, big shack to peel over here, our, our spinnaker up. Yeah, we're picking up heaps of time. We've shaved since we put the spinnaker up, we've shaved about four hours off the destination. We have to be there in about, uh, gosh, just two hours. Crazy. <laughs> we thought we were going to be there at night, but we're going to be there at daylight. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we have passed a little milestone. We've officially sailed into another state. We're now in the Northern Territory, so uh, we have come a long way. Mm -hmm. I don't think this boat's ever been out of Western Australia in its whole life. A whole, a whole, uh, its whole existence, but now it has been. Now, it's, and it's coming to that. We're going to uh, the Kai Islands in Indonesia. So then this boat will have been abroad as well. How about that? Mm -hmm. We still got to get the diamond too, it's been a bit of an effort. Another, bit of an effort. Yeah, another 24 hours or so and we'll be there. A <laughs> massive effort. Yeah. Tedious. Yeah. Into the wind the whole One way. One of the worst sails we've ever had in our life. Tedious. Well, some parts of it were really good, but... <laughs> First part. Yeah. Today's not too bad. We're still not going in the right direction. Lots of motors on. Yeah. 
and lots of motoring.